Hello YouTube, this is Ryan Wizard of Fabian guys back with another YouTube video and in this video I'll be doing a how to duplicate your laptop screen to your TV screen. This method will be using a HDMI cable. There is a wireless method, but I'll be showing you guys how to do that in another video. And this video specifically will be how to use it with a HDMI cable. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the laptop with a HDMI port. Other than that, if you don't have that, um, this method will not work. And you will just have to opt to the wireless version, which I will be doing another video on. So to confirm that you have a um, HDMI port, I'll be showing you guys how to look for it right now. You see, that is the HDMI port. So you want to confirm that you have one of those. Once you have confirmed that, then you are all set to go. So, if, so what you want to do is actually connect um, a HDMI cable right here and you want to make sure you have one of these if you don't I'll leave a link in the description to where you can purchase these these go for like three pound minimum um, which are really really good um, the length it depends on how far away your TV screen is or how far of a distance you want it so I just got a, a average 1.5 millimeter uh, sized one so what you want to do is you want to connect this to the HDMI port which I'll be showing you guys right now so as you guys can see once you've done that, you want to connect the other end of the HDMI cable to your TV. Unfortunately, I can't be showing you guys right that, um, um, as my TV is actually connected to the wall, so it will be hard to show. So let me just quickly put this there. As you guys can see, I have connected the HDMI cable, and it has automatically detected the source and has been um, displaying or duplicating my laptop screen. As you guys can see, that, that is the laptop screen. And that is the duplicated laptop screen on the TV. If it does not go automatically, this is where your TV remote will come in handy. Um, it comes with the TV, so you want to click on source. So let's, for example, if it does not show anything, normally it will just stay on like something like this. So if it is on this screen or any other screen apart from your um, actual laptop screen, you want to click on source on your lap um, on your remote. And then you want to go into the input where you have put your HDMI. I'll put it in HDMI 1. So once you've done that, select it. And then it should connect it right there. As you guys can see, both of them are the same. So now to show you that it actually works, I'll be going on Google, which I'll be showing you right here. So if you follow this screen and if you follow this screen, I'll be opening Mozilla Firefox. Like that, as you guys can see, Mozilla Firefox open. So now if I search YouTube, I am on YouTube right now, so now if I just even search for my channel right here, which I have already. And I would like to say thank you guys for 1,933 subscribers. Um, we are almost at 2,000 subscribers and almost at 1 million views, and I would like to thank you guys so much for that. Um, so let me show you guys how it looks like watching a video like this. So as you guys can see that is how it works and it is really way better than actually watching it. So for example if you have a lot of people around you can watch YouTube videos or you can watch Netflix. So now I'll be showing you guys how to do another feature with the Windows um, laptop. So on my laptop I have this button right here which if I click um, this will come up right here. This is where you can pro project your actual screen. So let me just show on here it will be better. So I can duplicate the screen meaning that um, both the laptop and the TV screen will be the same. Or I can do PC only which is just standard which is practically useless. Then you have extend meaning that for example if you have um, something here you can drag it all the way up there and use both of the screens so it will be like two screens or aka two monitors where you can drag and stuff through both that then we have second only which is um just a tv screen without your laptop screen so as you guys can see i'll be showing you guys the extended one because i really like that feature so if we just go on here and select extend so as you guys can see this is just the extended version right there and this is the actual main one so you, if you select extend the, your laptop will be always the main screen and that will be the secondary screen so now if we open this right here so as you guys can see YouTube is open on that screen but nothing is open on that screen so I have Mozilla Firefox open on my laptop screen I'll be showing you guys how to drag this um, to this screen so you can drag like this and as you guys can see it is dragging onto here this is 
very idea for those that do editing as you can have your editing stuff right here and you can have your YouTube videos right here all the opposite around so now if I open something like uh, um, Sony Vegas Pro I can just switch this around so as you guys can see so everything that you open first it will go onto the laptop screen then you can organize it yourself so as you guys can see Sony Vegas is open on my laptop screen so I can literally just drag it onto this screen right here and now I have two screens right here and nothing on this screen meaning that I can use this screen to just literally um, change it to here put it back onto here and then I can edit on that screen so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe for more videos like this please like comment down below if you find this video helpful